Uh, welcome to the Johnstone Training Center. Uh, today we're going to be looking at motors and how to identify the different motor windings, common run and start. You might have run into the issue where you've done a compressor replacement or even a condenser fan or blower fan motor and lost track of your wires a little bit. Uh, so to help with this issue, you can actually measure out the different windings on your motor and be able to find common run and start so you'll be able to know where to put them on the terminals again. So in this case, I have a compressor here. Uh, we're going to measure between our three windings. The three color wires I have are black, red, and brown. Um, it's typically helpful to write this down as you do it. So I have a piece of paper in front of me where I'm keeping track of all the uh, resistances on the ohm scale I'm going to be getting. So to start, we'll take our meter, set it to ohms here, and I'm going to measure between my brown wire and my black wire. There we go. We're going to get a resistance, a reading of uh, 1.6. So I'll get that on my paper down here, and then I'll measure between brown and red. And I'll get a reading of 2.6. And lastly, we'll need to measure between red and black. And then I'll get a reading of 1.0. I'll get that put down as well. Now there's rules here to understand how to figure out which winding belongs to which set of wires. So the lowest ohm reading is going to be your common to run. The next highest ohm reading is going to be the common to start. And the highest ohm reading you get will be the run to start. So in this case, we'll be able to identify that brown is our start winding, uh, black is our common, and red is our run. This will allow you to, again, land them on the correct terminals. So if you want any further information, you're welcome to check us out online or come see us here in person at the Fresno Training Center, where we provide real world experience for your real world career.